All right, I'm so excited to try out the photo peer to create sketch effect. Just go down to the browser. Just go to photo peer. And you will see photo peer for the first search result. Simply click it. Okay, so you can close this one. And this is what you will see on your browser. It looks exactly the same as you did on iPad or I didn't try iPhone, but I tried iPad. I use Safari and it has the same layout. This time I'm going to open from my computer. Okay, let me go grab my image. It doesn't look perfect because that's the photo I took in Macau many years ago. In Photoshop, I used to be following these seven steps to create pencil sketch. So I'm going to try it out on photo peer as well. So first of all, just go to the layer. You will see um, the base layer, simply click it and then press Ctrl J or right click, duplicate layer i will just use ctrl j and then you will go to the top layer i just call this top layer and this one bottom layer i won't touch the bottom layer and i'm going to work on the top layer okay then the second step is go to the adjustment layer and then tone down the saturation to all the way to zero so just select the top layer and then go to layer use the new adjustment layer and then you go to q or saturation and the task will pop up and you just tone down the saturation all the way to negative 100 your image will look black and white then you go to the blend mode and use the color dodge go back to top layer and then you go to this one, the drop box, and then you select color dodge. Then you will see a bright exposure here, just like black and white. Go back to your layer and then simply press Ctrl I. Then you will see everything in white. Go to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur left click it and then you will have the Gaussian blur meter simply play around with the radius then you will see the image is already darkened or whatever right so you can adjust density just to make it look like a sketch if you're happy with it you can export it to PNG or SVG or whatever file format but um, you can further adjust it by using the adjustment layer level. So simply, oh, I just forgot. You have to click OK if you're happy with that. Then you go back to the top layer, which is this one, and then right click. Oh, excuse me. Just select the top layer and then go to layer, new adjustment layer, levels. Then you will have this pane to work on. So simply move around the dark and gray spot just to change the tone or density. Okay. I want the dark to be a little bit light. Okay, just make it this way. Then you can use the brush tool to paint the file a little bit. I think I'm pretty okay with this one. So I can merge it. Okay. All right. So I just figured that out. So basically what you can do is highlight this one and then press control and left click again to control or to select two layers, three layers, four layers and multiple layers. So press control and left click to select all the layers and then move your cursor to whatever layer and then right click, 
merge layer. Then this time, you should see only one layer. Then you can go to get PNG and then save file. I think this time should work. Okay, so let me go to downloads. Yeah, give it this one. Then you will have the final product. So hopefully it helps. Thank you. Bye bye.